Evening YouTube. Yes, it's me, and I'm back again. Now then, you're probably thinking, oh no, what's he going to be doing this time? Well, as Ralph would say, come along, you may even have some fun. So, here we are. My camp for the night. I'm doing an overnighter in the spot where I've been doing me cups of tea and coffee videos because it's a main comfy little spot and I like it here and you don't get many sticky beaks this time of the night poking the nose in that's where we've just come from main path comes along there oddly enough it did last time we were here still I'm rambling again so, just take you a quick run round of it, as you can see. Got my big 50 foot ridge line between the two trees. Got my two quid tarp, just, just here. It's just, it's just pegged down at the back, nothing elaborate. And then at the front, a guy line off each end, and one in the centre. And I will attempt to show you under the tarp. It may be a little dark. Ah, it's blacker than the hobs of hell. Right, let's try a different angle. Who knows? When in doubt, make a complete muffin of it. Always been one of my sayings. Well, that's marginally, marginally worse. I was going to say better, but you can see two tarps at the end, my six by four one, and then just overlapping it slightly, the blue one, which is uh, five by four, I believe. That's the there is the foot of my sleeping bag which is a travel pack sorry a snug pack travel pack extreme it's rated down to minus one but i've used it down to minus four or five so it's a good bit of kit actually and only paid um i think 25 quid in a sale I hasten to add that wasn't a sale of a sailing ship. It was a, a discount sale. Oh, you knew that. <laughs> well, I would just assume that everybody is as stupid as me. <laughs> and obviously they couldn't be, could they? And this is looking in from the other end. Um, and it's black as the hobs of hell again. But uh, I'll show you it in the morning anyway. Assuming I'm still alive, obviously. And just here, that motley collection of bits and bobs is just what I've brought. As you can see, it's not much. And then it's my Bergen over there. It's not Swiss Tony, it's my Carrymore Bobcat 65. Um, it had been whinging and whining, it had not been out. You know, well, you never take me anywhere. It's ages since we went out for dinner or to the pictures. Anyway, enough said about that. As you can see, I've got a, as you can see, I'm tripping over the guy lines. I've just got a, a brew on, fired up the old samovar for a cup of joe. I'm using the Coleman gas burner tonight because just for sheer convenience rather than anything. I was going to see if you could actually see in the other tarp from this angle, but no, that's even worse. There's about as much light as a glow worm in a brown ale bottle. And actually that would be startlingly bright compared to how dark it is now. But it's about 8.30 um, Wednesday evening, uh, the 5th of June. 
and so I mean can't expect it to be brilliant sunlight at that time can you I mean if it was that would be the only brilliant thing around here certainly couldn't describe me as that so there you go that's just sort of a general view of where I am as I say this time of an evening you don't get many sticky beaks around so it's quite nice it's not the most secluded spot in the wood but it'll do for this evening more than admirably do I mean you know ask yourself if you're not out why aren't you out I mean I'm the laziest bone idle person I know and even I managed to drag my sad sorry carcass out here tonight so it's a nice forecast for tonight um, a low of 8 degrees wind from the east or east northeast maybe 10 miles an hour maybe maybe not even that I mean I'll just point you up into the foliage you can see it's not exactly lashing about in a tornado is it there's barely a zephyr of wind in fact actually there isn't any zephyr or otherwise what wind there is about you certainly couldn't call Mariah right then so I shall stop waffling now and let you get back to whatever it, it is I so rudely dragged you away from before I started one of my inane verbal and visual ramblings so anyway as always, thanks very much for watching. Um, any glowing comments that you'd like to leave, um, just double think them and make sure that you really want to leave glowing ones because <laughs> it's hardly Cecil B. DeMille production, this is it. Well, actually, it's a Fred Circus Cat, Fred Cano Circus production, as always widescreen 3D carnoscope etc so if you like this good I'm glad if it brings a modicum of entertainment and I may make this a three part one I may do five minutes when it's dark or I may just do five minutes in the morning hooray they said we may get away with just two parts you, you may you may I'm not promising anything though so anyway, thanks for watching and bye.